a hole. It's time for us to do our laundry. Hey, look at this big, big alarm. Well, on our way heading to a place for laundry that we saw on Google that was 15,000 per kilo. Some people were like, oh, laundry, laundry, laundry. And we're like, oh, okay. Because it was literally right outside of our hotel. And we went in and they were saying, gonna say 20,000 for later today. But we ended up getting 15,000 for tomorrow. So Heck laundry yeah. is dropped off. Now we're gonna try to find some frackin' brekkie. Because we're Australian. Wait, 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 wait. Ah, uh, yes. We are fancy now. We have some towels. Oh, yeah. Feels nice. If we were after a long walk, this would be exquisite. <laughs> Smoothies for breakfast, baby. Banana, because I can't have anything acidic or... Ouch. It's very banana-y. And kind of like, you know when you blend up bananas, they kind of use that like, thickness kind of to it. Like a little like, I don't know how to describe it. Just like a little squishy thickness. Squishy mashiness, foaminess. I like my banana drinks, and that's pretty dang good. But now you have it looks like a much better version of the McDonald's food. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> Mixed berry. Mm. Oh yeah, that's very tasty. It's very thick, which is great. You mean thick boy alert? Thick, thick boy, boy alert. Thick boy. Smoothies. Hey guys, today I ordered a piece of tomato and lettuce. Tyler actually ordered this. Yep. So I'm gonna be testing that out. Your meal. I'm actually really full already. I think I haven't swallowed it. And you ordered this. Why aren't you drinking it? Yummy. I mean, a panini baguette. Oh. Ham. That is breakfast right there. Mm. The bread's nice and warm. Some solid quality bread. It's got a little nice veggies in there, nice and healthy. And the meats, which have a decent amount of flavor with the melty cheese in there. They actually melted the cheese. Oh, delicious. That's good. I got my ham and cheese croissant here. Croissant just sounded so dang good. And now I'm getting it. I hope it doesn't crank my cranker sore. Yeah, I don't need your cheese on that one, but croissant's buttery and flaky. It's exactly what you want. Oh my gosh. I feel French right now. Oh, 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 oh. It's really good. Kind of flaky. Cheese is nice and melted inside. You can't really taste the ham, but it's there. Croissant. That was pretty good. Everyone was very friendly there. They were very friendly. It was a nice, uh, friendly atmosphere. They uh, had some cover music, of course. Oh, nice. <laughs> uh, just like songs you have already heard before, but in a very soft some of very depressing and they're like a little like kind of just chilling but they're singing depressing lyrics and just chilling but the food was good the smoothies were good all about it yeah it's pretty good spot <laughs> people just kind of yell youtuber at us when they see us with the camera <laughs> and then just do some weird stuff yeah. to it that's about it all right let's head back in the hotel and see what the frack we're gonna do today we don't know that's been the theme of this trip we don't know. Bali is a place which we found out quickly that uh, you want to get expensive tours or you want a moped. And uh, <laughs> only one of those is an option for us and we don't have money. Well, there is another option. Illegally drive a moped? Yes. <laughs> Hey. We got drinks to try. Milk tea drink. Nee. 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 Let's see how this is. Nee. 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 It's actually pretty good. It's like, kind of like milk. And if you were to mix tea in there. Oh, that sounds, uh, when you say it sugar. like that, it sounds disgusting. Oh. And there's also some milk in there too. Holy! I got something that's much cooler. It's a groovy root beer! Smooth operator! Smooth operator! Add some music in over this, please. Do, 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 I think we won't. You did the music yourself. We, that's all we need. <laughs> groovy root beer. Oh gosh, it's really cold and wet. Hold on. Doc, please. 
Use your eye socket to open this. He's dying. Duck is a failure. Hey guys, we're gonna go to Uba today possibly, but... It takes a long time to get there. It takes like almost two hours to get there. If we take the bus, it says it takes two hours. And going by a bike or by, oh I got it, oh. by a car is an hour and a half. And it's a little expensive. Bali would be best for, and which a lot of people probably do, you rent a moped and then you go different places for multiple days at a time. You spend a few days in the city, like we're doing right now, and then I mean, people spend apparently three weeks here. Like some of the things said, oh, you need at least 10 days to 14 days, if not more. And uh, we have five, well, four. So maybe we're doing it right. We're doing four in the city, which it seems like people do. And then next time we come, we can do four in Ubud and go to the island and go all around. It seems like if you just slowly go around, spend a few days in each place, that might be the best way to go. But uh, that's for next time. We're just figuring out the more we travel, the more fracking need to know how to ride a moped oh. in Southeast Asia. <laughs> but you know what I know? Something groovy's coming! Smooth operator! Root beer so far outside of the US has sucked. Is groovy root beer gonna be any different? It's got a fancy container and a cool name. Groovy? Hold on. Smooth operator! That's some good root beer! It's not we as good as A&W. Root beer. I should try the A&W. They have that all over here. Do uh, Indonesians like root beer? Maybe. Apparently there's root beer. There was A&W in Malaysia, too. Yeah. Which is surprising. It's pretty good. It's not as good as A&W. Um, it's, it's not like maybe better than Mug. Nah. I'm not a huge fan of Mug. It's mug. not that creamy. This has some creaminess to it, so... Groovy root beer. I need some ice cream. <laughs> Oh, we're at the beach again! Sorry, uh, we're using the worst possible camera we have because Tyler's phone is full. The GoPro apparently is no longer waterproof and we're just down to my phone. We're going into the ocean today. It's time to swim. For the first time in Bali and we've been here for three days, four days. <laughs> How many days have we been here? Three in that night. Ah, uh, yeah, that night. Even though the night was 2 a.m. Yeah, it was on the same day, so three days basically, full days. Day number three, swimming in the ocean. Really getting the feel of the city. We kind of know the vibes, know who to avoid, know uh, how to cross the street. And uh, we got our laundry going at. Now we're going to eat some nasi goreng tonight. Nasi, nasi goreng. Indonesian food, beautiful waves. Let's kill it, baby. Water! It's super cold. We were swimming in the Philippines for the last few weeks and the water's super warm in the Philippines here. It's kind of icy. It is. It feels good. Woo. But it's also like surprisingly chilly. It is. It's not like so hot out either where it's like, oh gosh, I want to just jump in. These oh my. Oh. <laughs> it's been a while since we've oh, had some big waves. It's since uh, we went to Boracay in February. Oh. Wow, it's cold. Every time. Every time. I've been covering the camera the whole forever time. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, we're away. <laughs> guys, they had good waves. I don't know when I switched my hands, but I just covered the entire camera. Uh, yeah, there. Oh. Oh. Okay, I'm in. Oh, this is a big one. Yeah, we're getting the big boys. This is epic. We're going underneath. <laughs> Guys, I'm sorry I hit the power button right as it came. Oh, gosh. You are getting really warm. Oh, oh. The water is really salty. It is. <laughs> oh. I don't know. I literally can't see the screen. I hope the footage is decent. I keep <laughs> pausing it at terrible times. A big jump shot. I really have no clue what I can see on this thing. It's hard to tell. It's gonna be blurry and really hard. Oh, it's pulling. Some of the kids here apparently are insane surfers. Ah, 
like yeah. a kid? No, that's no way that's a kid. And it was a kid. No. This kid over here is probably like 12 years old. And he is just, uh, just riding these waves. There's some big ones out there that he just fly down. Oh. Tyler's going down. Oh no, I'm going down. I see you right at me. Oh. Egg mode. Oh, he's in egg mode. <laughs> Pollution. Oh, they're just constant now. Holy nuts. Hey. Hey. It's between, between the flags. Not between the flags. Not the flags. They're trying not to get anybody murked by a surfboard. That would really suck. Well, so that was uh, the beach. It was cracking and insane. My gosh, that was the... Probably one of the best beaches. I think that and Costa Rica are the best two beaches I've ever been to in my life. Look at how daddy looks. That means it's good. And uh, our nipples started chafing. Oh, they really hurt. I don't want the, my shirt to touch yeah, my nipples. I'm doing the same thing behind uh. the camera. It was insane to say the least. The waves, I couldn't. we couldn't film them at the end, but they were so cracking they tall. Were as tall as this like wall right here. But you, could like... still, but you could still touch the sand. It, it was crazy. That's Insane. There would be some people that were like pro at riding them, like without surfboards. They'd just be, they'd just ride them. Face would just be like this. <sighs> and then uh. we'd try it and then we'd up, up the nose, rolling around. I got full 360'd underwater. That oh. was fracking epic. But it was fun. I wish we had boogie boards. Boogie boards would be fracking oh, epic. I can't imagine. We'd fly. We'd be like, ah! That would hurt so much <laughs> too, I bet. Oh man. That was sick. Epic beach, Bali. Oh, shower time! Guys, we are defeated. The waves won. The waves fracking won. Right, yeah. Look yeah. at all that sand. And it wasn't even close. Sand's not even moving. Go into the hole. Go, go, go. Go, Jordy. It's, it's your birthday. Go party like it. It's your birthday. Well, that was a lot of fracking fun. That was. Fracking epic waves are always epic. I have a lot of salt water run off. Wow, this thing is really steaming <laughs> up. Now it's time to clean up quick and replenish our uh, energy we lost. I can't see you anymore. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> this is the posture you have to do uh, if your nips are chafed. Welcome back. You got some hair? Try face eats noodles that are whatever you call this. No, there's like absolutely nothing. <laughs> Guess what we are getting today? Oh, obviously we got some spring rolls right here. Getting some nasi goreng. The oh, national oh, dish of yeah. Indonesia. Not only that, but we're also getting some Balinese um, curry, which we figured would be a good thing to add it to this video as well because we are in Bali. And where else would you get Balinese curry? Crack in Bologna. All right, we're gonna dig into these. These things look pretty dang good. Oh, I didn't realize those. those carrots. Oh, it's like a star carrot? Yeah. I'll eat the star carrot, don't worry. Does it make it taste even better? Hey, what's up, Doc? I usually like my chicken spring rolls and stuff like that, but this is all veggies. Getting healthy. Here we go. Next thing you know, you'll be meditating. Was that a shot of people that like vegetarian food? It's also not do a yoga? shot. They can, they, they have, they're so happy. <laughs> <laughs> this tastes very delicious. The outside is very good and oily, and it's very crispy. And the vegetables on the inside taste pretty dang good. For a vegetarian meal, this is very delicious. All right, these spring rolls shouldn't disappoint you though. All right. I'm gonna try the spring roll right now. It tastes a lot like water. Why didn't you make a reference to some sort of animal or cartoon character that ate cucumbers like I did? Oh, he's erupting, it's hot. He did not foresee the warning. <laughs> I'm crying because of how good it is. Oh. 
Those are really good. For vegetables only, it's yeah. pretty dang good. If there was some chicken in there, that would be so good. Yeah. I see you left me half of a carrot. I did. <laughs> What's up, Doc? All right, now, uh, everybody. Oh. That was appetizing. Everybody leave us alone so we can just eat all of the rest of our hair. Thank you so much. Oh, oh you got a lot of there. That. Oh, okay. Wowzers. That's a lot of food. We got a lot of food. This place is really cheap, oh, actually. I didn't even show that nasty goring yet. Oh, oh, oh. This comes with rice and this comes with, what is this on here? Those are little fish? Or little dried fisher boys? Might be onion? I don't know, I'm not sure. Oh, there's like a bamboo shoot in there. Is it chicken? Or is it just a veggie? Yeah, it's chicken. Okay. So we got chicken in here and some bunch of vegetables. Break myself off a little chunk of rice right here. Good helping a curry. This is a much uh, soupier curry than the yeah. one that I got earlier in the trip. You really need to curry up this rice before you eat it. I have no idea what this is going to taste like. I've never had a yellow curry before. It smells very interesting. Here we go. Ooh. Ooh. Wow, that's very interesting. It's a little spicy, a little tangy. There's a lot going on in this curry. Very different than a Indian curry where like it's kind of the thick. Uh, There's usually tomatoes in those too. Yeah, thick tomato-y, very spice heavy. This one has the spices. Definitely different spices. This is very tasty. That's really good. I'm very impressed by that. It's very, it has a tiny bit of spice, which is like the perfect amount. Yum. The rice here is solid. At the Thai place that you got your curry, the rice was not as nice as this. It wasn't that great, no, no. So it's all about, we have become rice connoisseurs from living in the Philippines. We know all about the rice. We need quality rice. Quality over quantity, come on. He's trying a cracker. Try a fish cracker from this plate. Ooh, what the heck? It tastes different than the usual crackers. Yeah, the usual crackers we get are like fish ones, right? Prawn crackers. Oh, it tastes like something, but I don't know what it is. It kind of tastes like burnt popcorn. Really? Yeah, that's very interesting. I don't know if I like the aftertaste that sits in my mouth after it. Like when you bite burnt popcorn, you're like, it kind of ruins everything. You just want it. Good popcorn then. Yeah. That was really weird. Okay, you can try your uh, the other two things on the menu. So look at this beauty Holy right yeah. here. Yeah. You just got like a straight up just egg, omelet style egg on top. And there's just so much stuff in that rice. Whoa, look at that. I mean, look at the stars. They really shine for you. What color is this? It's very yellow. Definitely has a bit of a fishy smell, so there's Definitely some sort of seafood variety in there, but then I believe that's some chicken as well. Fishy boy, fishy boy. Ooh, okay. Whoa, the textures of everything come together so well. Everything's so soft. It's so easy to eat. And the flavor's insane. I need another bite of that. That is so good. I love fried rice. And this is really meeting the standard. It's not oily at all too. Something about the texture of it's just so good. It mixes together so well. Everything is so soft. It's a nice dry fried rice. I know something that definitely isn't dry. This insanely oh coated my. satay. <laughs> Look at that. Just all came with it too. We didn't order any satay or anything. This, this we ordered, but it literally comes with satay. That's cool. I got to imagine this is going to taste like peanut sauce. Oh my. So you dipped it in peanut butter? There's literally as much sauce on there as there is chicken. So the, you got like an inch of sauce and an inch of chicken. So it's just covered in oh, the sauce. The sauce yeah. is good. Some of the peanut sauces can be really strong. This one's kind of mild because there's so much of it. Okay. Pretty good stuff, except for these. I didn't really like those. Let's see. It tastes like popcorn flavored things, but slightly burnt. I still taste it. Weird, it really does taste like popcorn. Not good popcorn. No, no. Man. The food has been devoured. Um, I haven't drank that yet. Oh, sorry. Glug, 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 glug. Oh, it's all gone now. Oh, I promise. <laughs> I want some fracking dessert. Oh, what shall we have? Ah!
Look at this shenanigans place. Apparently this is a Chinese chain of ice cream. I think we saw this in Korea or somewhere like that. Uh, they had a lot of interesting things though. I would like to try many of them, but I only got one. Very cheap. Hey buddies, we said we'd get dessert and I guess what we're fracking doing. There's a place pretty close to our hotel called Mixiu. Apparently it's a Chinese ice cream chain and uh, it's popular in Indonesia. I mean, it's affordable. Yeah, it's super cheap. This is like a, a little more than a dollar for a decent amount of ice cream. This is super interesting too. It's a um, boba sundae. It's a bunch of uh, bobas in some ice cream. And uh, there's just a bubble right there. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna dig down to the, whatever the frack this is down here. Be shitty and nice and good, mate. We've been uh, talking Australian a lot because there's so many dang Aussies here. Isaac was doing his best Aussie accent, I would Oi, say. I'm an Aussie, bro. And uh, an Aussie man was on a bike next to us and he was like, it was very funny. Right before that we were talking, we were like, we need to watch the accent. Some Someone might just walk around a corner and see us. And then there was someone on a bike. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try some mix you, huh? Oh, oh, that's actually. I like milk tea a lot. This is like the creamiest milk tea you could possibly get. Oh. Wait, you gotta get a boba in there too? Will bobas freeze like M&M's in ice cream? No, they're still boba y. Wow. That's very unique. That is very delicious. It's just like taking that delicious kind of like milk tea sweetness and then you just shove a bunch of fracking ice cream in there and it really is something unique and delicious they need to incorporate this into many places so i can eat it all the time hold on let me mix this look, look at that it's not mixed mixed mix you that's a transition thank you uh it's even better of a transition when we just keep talking after right i got creamy mango boba whoa there's there appears to be some sort of ice cream or cream at the bottom. Mango boba is probably like a normal thing, but creamy. Oh, there's a thing. Oh, wow, it is really thick at the bottom. Stir it. Stir it. Oh, yes. Oh, it's changing colors. This will be unique. They had a lot of unique stuff they in this did. place. There's a lot of stuff I would try there. Whoa, whoa, there's so much happening in my mouth right now. It's like these little chewy, or not chewy, uh, more like pop, 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 frackers. Pop, pop, and then pop. These are chewy frackers. And there's also little mango chunks in there. And there's cream and there's liquid. It, there's so many textures. I never knew a drink could have so many textures. <laughs> and it tastes pretty dang good too. Pop, 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 you want it? Pop, pop, pop. pop. I got it. Man, Saturday nights in Bali are fracking hard, man. I've been drinking this groovy root beer all night and I'm super wasted. You know that doesn't have alcohol in it, right, Duck? Oh, yeah, that's Indonesian root beer, dude. It's totally different. I'm so wasted and I can't sleep because of these fracking motorcycles going all fracking night. Yeah, it's just 12 fracking at night and they keep going. <sighs> well, I can bury my sorrows in more alcoholic beverages. Do you want any snacks? I guess I'll have some of these fracking things. I don't even know what they are. It's all in Indonesian. Do I have permission to consume, sir? I need my hangover meal. You're not groovy enough right now. Well, duck's asleep, so I'm gonna be that, though. I'm gonna be trying these Kusuka Karapik Singkong. They look sort of in the shape of like a different not potato. It's like a cassava chip. Yeah. And I'm hoping it tastes like it's a black pepper cassava chip. Yeah, that'd be pretty good. Let's see how this is. I'm hungry. Although our meal earlier was delicious, I am hungry. Oh gosh, is this going to be a Southeast Asian, very hard to open? I think so. I'm going to have to pop it. Oh! <laughs> Guys, if you didn't know, in the US you just take both sides. Oh, you got it. Can you demonstrate how you would have opened that in the US? You just, just open like it like that. that and then it just pops open and then you can reseal it. Easy. That's not how it works in Southeast Asia so far. It's always a fracking corner and then it rips the whole bag open. But now I got a chip. 
It looks like cassava chip, black pepper. Oh, it smells like pepper. Whoa, those are pretty strong. Peppery, you like? Yeah, I mean, it's not like what I expect, like the pepper you put on mac and cheese. It's like, I don't know, it's a bit different. You, I got the pepper more on that one. I think it was more coated. Holy nuts. There's like a sweetness in there too. Yeah, it is sweet, it's sweet. I like those, I really like cassava chips. They are good. Really good Something about the cassava, really cassavas me up. Yeah, some, sometimes I just want to go open a bag of chips and just jump into a cassava, you know? The, that black pepper is really spicy. <laughs> well, that was our day here again in Bali. Uh, we had a lot of fun. We ate some delicious breakfast, went into the fracking ocean, sent off our laundry, and ate some nasi goreng and Balinese curry. What more could you want? More motorcycles, I think. That's a joke, please. Um, I hope it doesn't happen. It's gonna keep happening though. It's gonna go all night. Saturday night, all the Indonesian hype beasts get out there and they're like, mm -hmm. oh man. I'm sure everyone is just so impressed by the large noises coming from my motor of my bike right now. All the women are gonna frack and love me if my motorcycle is loud enough. Yeah, another day in Bali, down. We got one more day tomorrow and we will see you guys then. We got some, we've been doing some research on what things to eat. So you'll be seeing what we find tomorrow. Uh, can I have some cheese? Break off.